Hi Taurus, this is Alex, and I'm here to bring you your weekly love reading, or tarot reading, or love and career. Let's see what God Angels Universe has for you. Taurus, woohoo! As always, if the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and or comment. Keen, we got the Queen of Cups, yay Taurus, we got the Knight of Swords. Look at, he's facing her. Come on home, baby. He's like, I'm coming, sugar. <laughs> Uh-oh. We got the king of swords. King of swords sending him the magic. Come, come over here, baby. I want to see you. You got the four of cups. She's like, oh, you're so crazy. Stop playing around, James. Oh, two of wands. Mm. Capricorn with the devil. Some people are so afraid just when you say that and it's like the devil. Ooh. Dude, come on. Anyway, um, Taurus, you and your feelings, you feel in love, and somebody's communicating. Ooh, I feel like this person's telling you everything you want to hear, Taurus. Mm hmm. They hitting all them right spots. Yes, baby. King of Swords there. Yes. King of Wands and the King of Swords. This is some aggressive, hot, fiery, stank, passionate communication. Nine of Swords with the Knight of Swords. The Moon. Pisces. Cancer also. <sighs> Page of Swords. Somebody's looking online. Two of Swords. Not really sure trying to listen to their gut. See so uh oh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh oh. I feel like there's a mismatch here. You ever hear that saying, like in an argument, do you want to be, uh, do you want to be loved, or do you always want to be right? I feel like you know, um, there's just, there's just um, different love languages or different languages being spoke here. It's almost like somebody's trying to maybe tell you the truth, tell you what it is that they want, tell you what they desire, give you barking orders. We should do this. We should do that. Why aren't you not like this? Why don't you be more like that? And you're like James, damn it, like hug me tell me you love me you don't tell me you love me right it just kind of feels like there things are getting lost in communication there is a um there is a mix-up in communication or, or translation i feel like somebody's being incredibly honest and somebody's being incredibly loving i'm trying to tell you well you stop to think i don't want to hear that maybe i just need you to hug me okay all right Mm-hmm. Knight and Nine of Swords. You know, how am I supposed to go near you when every time I try to come near you, you run away or you... Oh, Lord, please don't let this be somebody's argument because I don't know what energy is coming through me, but they are just knee-deep into this argument. I'm also hearing, too, that somebody has fallen short. Yeah, King of Swords. He's confident. He's strong. He's like the shit. He, he's got his shit together. He's going to tell you what it is, what it is not. Okay? She don't give a fuck about all that. Give her a hug. Give her a kiss. Tell her you love her. Rub her feet. I'm just saying. I'm just... Okay? Because if you don't, y'all are going to be in an impasse. Right? One person is going to continuously try. And and, and it's gonna, you're going to get blocked. Right? You know what I mean? Um, I also kind of feel like... I'm trying to think of the term... Lost in translation. I keep saying that, but that's not the word. It's almost like y'all are two ships passing in the night. There it is. You're speaking two different languages. And I think I said that too, but it di didn't resonate. But I feel like you're sp listening to two different languages and this King of Swords just feels fed up. Then he shuts down and you try to continue to communicate yourself emotionally, but it falls on deaf, deaf ears. Then you may get hot, fiery, mad, and pissed off. And by that time, your King of Swords is like, eh, eh, eh. Now, he all in his feelings. But you got swords all at the bottom. I just saw that. Swords in the moon. Swords in the moon. Swords in the moon. Right? 
So this person on the bottom is in their head. You know, they're being logical. They're being, they're not emotional at all. But it's weird because it's almost like, why can't we just find a peace? Why can't we just get back, get it, get it back how it's been <laughs> in the beginning? And I just like, damn it, James, because you don't treat me the same. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who, what's going on right now. But you have the King of Wands and the and the Moon, right? So I feel like she is spinning her wheels. This top row person, they are spinning their wheels trying to get their point across like, why don't you hear me? Why don't you love me? Why don't you do this? And the Four of Cups is just like, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm done. Like, you know what? Let me find something to do because James just, he not getting it. You know what I mean? Now, what I'm also hearing too is self-medicating. Like she could be going out with her friends, getting drunk and doing this, that, or the other. And that ain't healthy. Um, She could have evil, devious thoughts is what I'm getting here as well. Because you start out as, a, as the Queen of Cups. But then you end as the, in the de as the devil. You know what I mean? It's almost like you go from light to dark. From love to hate. Oof. I hope that's not the case. But it's possible. You know, he goes from strong, general, my way or the highway to I just want my baby back. You know, maybe you leave. Maybe the top person leaves. And now he's been all up in his head. And then he realized, you know, this king of wands could have been like, you know what? I'm giving up. I'm getting the fuck out. I'm going to stay with my mom or my brother or my sister or my cousin. To, to um, wands. Right? The two of wands and now you're gone. It's like, okay, should I stay over here? Should I stay over there? I don't even know if I'm coming back. Okay? And now he's like, I just want my baby back, baby. Let me stop. Okay, let me get my shit together. I apologize. And now it's just like you banging up her phone, but she don't want to hear it. He don't want to hear it. Like you, the page of swords with the four of cups is like you're uh, harassing them at this point. But they don't want to hear it. They're trying to figure out what they're going to do if they're going to make it back. And you're like, okay, I hope they come back. I hope they're not gone forever. So you guys wind up at the twos together. Again, speaking two different languages. Just here, like here at the beginning, because we got cups, we got swords, we got wands, we got swords. Your person is stubborn as fuck, by the way, because they maintained their swordhood ship the whole fucking argument. Okay, so it's almost like, yeah, that's probably why you're trying to figure out if I should come back, because you don't know if they're going to change. But deep down, you probably don't feel like they're going to change. You know what I mean? Which is why you go all in. And it's just like, fuck this shit. You know, you could block them. You could change your number. Like, um, you feel defeated. You know what I mean? It's almost like you get to that point and now your person is like, but baby, I'm sorry. You know, I love you. And this out of the other. And it's like, well, why you couldn't say that from the fucking beginning? That's crazy. Whoosh. What I'm also getting too from these two cards is this person, if they did leave, they're not coming back to the same same past behavior. They're not. That's one thing. The second thing is if they do come back, they make sure this person's not gone too long. Because if they convert from the cups to the wands, they coming back as the devil. Don't let them be gone too long. Okay, Taurus? Because when they coming back, they coming back with all them bad habits. All the times they'd have been hung, hanging out with their friends. All the freedom that they just tasted that's so delicious right now. If you want them back, you better go back. At, you better go get them right now. Okay? In other words, don't let it get to this ending. Get it to this ending where they come back as their original form and their original selves. Okay? And not only that, but what I'm, also, what I'm also hearing too now that we're doing the crisscross is you coming across, however you're coming across, whomever this is in a relationship... You're turning them the fuck off. You're convert. You're you're converting them. You're teaching them how to dislike you very much. So, okay. So you need to stop all that damn barking. Stop all of that. Here's what I'm used to. Here's what we're gonna do, James. And you need to give in and give your person. They just she's she's just asking for you to love her and appreciate her and and rub her feet. If you don't know who that is, 
or how to do that, Google it or go on to YouTube, How to Love Your Woman. You'll get like a million freaking videos that come up, okay? I just kind of feel like, again, somebody's not too emotional in this mix. Could be dealing with one of the air signs, which is um, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. But uh, you got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and Pisces, and Cancer, and Scorpio at the bottom. I'm just... I feel for you who's ever in this situation. I feel like she wants somebody who's forward and aggressive with how he feels about her. Tell me you love me. Tell me this. Tell me that. You know, you don't do nothing. She's numb right now, Taurus. If this is you in your scenario and your person left you, I can tell you right now that they're numb because you just bark out all these orders. They don't want to hear that shit. They want you to come home and look at them like they're a freaking Philly cheesesteak. And they starving. Okay, um, instead of all that, oh, is there anything to eat? It's almost like this to me also says to here that you forgot your person. Like you don't even see them the same. Not because they're different, but because your eyes are different. You know, and maybe y'all need to just get back to how it used to be. I'll put them upside down. Upside down. Around and around. This is a reading sing-along. Children, somebody could be childish or there could be children in this particular situation. I don't think that there are. I think that somebody is being petty and small and not necessarily wanting to give in, negotiate, or compromise. Moving on, keep an open mind. Well, he, you ain't got no choice. He, you ain't got no choice to listen to your gut because you done fucked it up all, all from up until that point. It's safe for you to love again. Don't know why you don't open up and just show the little baby. Right? Hi, boo. Hi, girl. Your ass is looking good in them jeans today. Like, you ain't got to be this person all the time. Whoever this is, whether this is you or your person, Taurus. You ain't got to be that stickler, stick up his ass all the time. Flirt. Be like, girl, get over here. Hey, boo. How you doing? You want a sandwich? You want me to rub your feet? For all the ladies out there. All right? I just pulled another card and I didn't a damn mean to. Stay optimistic. This is saying it's safe for you to love again. Yeah, open, crack open your heart, whoever that is, whether it's you, Taurus, or your person. Last card is romantic feelings. Let them bitches out. You got all this sword energy. All this sword energy. It ain't getting you nowhere. You're trying to outsmart the person. You're trying to put them in their place. You're trying to, you know, be the H-B-I-C or the H-dude in charge, H-D-I-C. It's not working for you because whomever it is that you're dealing with, they need love. They don't need marching orders. They don't need to know, you know, the coordinates. They don't need to know none of that shit. They just want your love. They just want connection back. They just want to feel like you're there for them, that you see them, that you want them, that you desire them. And Taurus, if this is you, um, if you don't want to lose them, I would just go ahead and rekindle that old love affair. It's safe. It's okay for you to open up your heart. So just do it. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. Uh, contact details are below if you're interested in a personal reading. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Love you, Taurus. Bye.